There are five different ways to light your bloom unit scenes. Number one is daylighting, which is entirely controlled from SketchUp Shadow Settings dialog, where you can interactively change the time of day or month of the year. Or you can switch daylighting on and off by simply checking or unchecking the Use Sun for Shading checkbox. Number two is Bloom Unit Library Luminaires. With the Bloom Unit Luminaire Manager, you can select any of the listed light fittings from real world manufacturers, but you cannot change any of the inbuilt lighting parameters. This is to ensure that the lighting performance shown in Bloom Unit will match its real world equivalent. Number three is Custom Luminaires. With the Bloom Unit Luminaire Manager still open, you can create a new custom light definition with a set of default parameters and you can place this light into your SketchUp scene. But unlike library luminaires, with custom luminaires you can change the shape of your light's distribution by changing its IES file. And you can also change the light source dimensions, lamp colour or output value at any time. Number four is light emitting materials where you first create a new custom material via the Bloom Unit Material Manager, then using the Emission tab to set your light output, colour and value. You then simply paint this new material onto any surface or shape in your SketchUp model to create a new light source for your scene. You can easily change these values at any time. Number five is HDRI domes. Opening up the Bloom Unit Render Settings and selecting the HDRI Dome tab, you can import and enable a surrounding 360 degree HDRI file to accurately illuminate your scene and provide a high quality image background at the same time. You can combine any of these lighting methods to achieve your most demanding lighting needs and view the result in your Bloom Unit viewport within seconds. And if you haven't done so already, please visit our website at bloomunit.com for a free 14 day trial.